So I'll give you an example of a, a common occurrence of this. So I'm going to do using uh, Unity uh, Game Engine dot Scene Management. Okay, so I want to I want to when I start this component, I want to immediately load a new scene. So I want to do <clears throat> Scene Manager dot Get Current. What's this? Get Current. Why? I mean, I know what scene manager is. I mean, if I go to, um, if I go to Unity here, and uh, scene manager, Unity scene manager, come on, and uh, you'll see that we have get active scene. We have all these methods here. So why is it that my scene manager doesn't have it? Well. The reason why is because I actually have in my project a class called scene manager. Now you notice that, that we have, uh, if I go to this file over here, you see that we have this public class scene manager. Now I'm going to at some point do a video where I cover what a class is and all that kind of stuff. But the issue is that this file here, scene manager.cs, which is stands for C sharp, uh, is called scene manager. So it's actually creating a conflict between uh, your script, which is this one here, this code here, and what I want to use inside um, the scene management. Now, there's a couple of uh, things that we can do here. Uh, we could do um, unity scene manager equals dot scene manager, which is yeah. Uh, and then that gets around that problem. So you've got get active scene. You could do that. Or what you can do is you can rename your class. Now, there's a previous video to this. Uh, make sure when you rename this, you also rename the file as well. So let's change this to my scene manager. And then I also have to change the name of the file over here to my scene manager. So it's just the, the, the thing that we've got to, you've got to make sure that your class syncs up with the file name. Uh, and then we can get rid of that. And then we can do scene manager. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Okay, so now scene manager is the one that's inside the Unity engine and not the one that's inside your project. So just something to be um, uh, aware of. The other thing is uh, you don't want to do like um, struct vector three. You don't want to have that in your project because if you have that in your project, if I do vector three dot, uh, and now I have nothing. Okay, so just make sure that when you're naming your, your uh, classes, you don't conflict with other things. I mean, you, you can, can get around it. You can use that using trick I just showed, but just uh, be aware of what your classes are called. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, it was a very, very short video, just a sort of a couple of things. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a sort of a beginner's tutorial type thing on, on scripting the C-sharp language in general and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, just another, uh, maybe not a series, but a kind of like, you know, five videos over a week kind of thing, that, that idea. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment below uh, for one of these videos. Uh, but until next time, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. Down. If you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, there's a notification bell that you got to click as well. Somewhere up there, there's a red button and all that kind of stuff. You know the drill. It's it's YouTube. Uh, yeah, so thank you again, and uh, I will catch you in the next video. Keep coding, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.